two lunches. Yeah. And then Jackie and Gina were same age, I guess. And Sean and another one of uh, one of mine of uh, my I don't know which one it was that was same age with Sean was same age too. That's why Tina said Oh and Tina and Paulette were same age. Mm. So that's why I, I felt sorry for my sister. So whenever the excursion I would make lunch mm. for them. How did you decide um uh, how did you decide what how you're gonna name your kids? How did I decide? Yeah. I don't know, I just pick names out of the clear. <laughs> yes. I don't I didn't really when time to name them, you know. But towards the end I was kinda of picky then Who's your oldest? Say, Who's the oldest? Like Jacqueline was because of Jacqueline Kennedy, you know. Oh. Okay. I thought, oh, but I, I to myself, I think, too long a name. Then I said, oh, what the heck, <laughs> you know. <coughs> and Leticia, mm -hmm. because I used to work in the Camry and I used to write down all my, because I used to be for lady, and I used to take it to two tables. I was on the packing side, and I had two tables, and I would write down on the back of the card of my uh, table, you know, the names that that works on the table. So I came across this pretty big girl, and her name was similar to Leticia. Uh -huh. And then when I realized, you know, when Leticia was born, I kind of <coughs> thought of that name. Yeah. So I named her that name, Leticia. Yeah. Not knowing that it rhymes with Patricia. <laughs> you know, coincidence. No, it wasn't hard naming my children. Yeah. I had 11 of them, but it wasn't hard. And I don't regret having them, because I find my kids are well-behaved. They grew up, they were well-behaved. Mm -hmm. Dad was strict with his kids. Yeah. He thought that <coughs> he was really strict, and he aimed to make his children hard workers, mm -hmm. which they turned out to be hard workers. Yeah. And they're not lazy. Yeah. I, I, I'm proud to say my children are not lazy, but my girls, maybe my girls a little bit, you know, not all of them, but mm -hmm. my oldest girl, Patty, Patty, oh man, she knows what to do in the kitchen, man. You don't have to tell her nothing. Yeah. Even if she's at somebody's house, you don't have to tell her to stand up and go out in the kitchen. She'll just go and help. Mm. Or, or like um, my Auntie Perla, you know, when the parents died, her mom died, she was so happy, she said, she, because Patty went help her, you know, prepare food and, and did all that instead of them worrying about, you know, the food that they were going to serve the people mm -hmm. that came to view the body and all right. that. And she said, I didn't realize, she said, your daughter and your sisters. I said, but my family, we help one another. Yeah. We don't look down on one another. We help one another. That's how we were brought up. It's close. Mm -hmm. That's why my sister, when she passed away, my older sister, I miss her, man. Because everything I did, I, she would be included. Yeah. And I was the driver. And when our husbands would go, because they were in our life club, <coughs> when our husbands would go convention, yeah, the minute they leave the island, we pack our children. <laughs> we pack the bags for all the diapers, the extra clothes, and whatever, the bottles, 
powder and whatnot and jumping for that car with the speed go heli on to ha ole down the uh, pro city mm-hmm. they used to be a ha ole shop in pro city mm-hmm. and that was our favorite shop like the Benny and I what did they have there? we go look clothes oh. or oh, yeah. whatever you know was on sale we go look for clothes and would you believe that because there's no more clothes and no more clothes that treat us we go eat right after that <laughs> <laughs> That's why we enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, and we enjoyed one another. Just cruise. Yeah. And then our kids loved it because they go riding, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we used to love when our husbands go away. Because we get freedom, we go, <laughs> we go with our kids. I used to play volleyball. I used to play softball. I used oh, to play wow. basketball. That's why today the legs all I need. Yeah. Because those days when we play, my mother no can afford rubber shoes. We play barefoot. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the court is not smooth. The court is a kind of like cement court, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard on the legs. And I remembered when we used to, I first started working at the Camry. We never wore shoes. Oh. It was, we used to wear slippers on it. Yeah. And every time our feet, our slippers get sticky, we just run the slipper and the, our feet underneath the water, <laughs> the running water, and then that's it. And then we walk. And then when they put that regulation that got to be covered, uh, you got to wear shoes, you know. You cannot go with slippers and, or nor barefoot. You got to mm-hmm. wear shoes, covered shoes. Oh, and that's when, you know. Then... After that, people started wearing like tennis shoes and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. But, well, and I used to commute 